Hi, I'm Sebastian McLeod, and I'm here to show you a new way to hang curtains that's simple, elegant, and strong. There's no measuring, marking, or drilling, but best of all, it does no visible wall damage to your home. Now I know we've made some pretty big claims here, so I want to take the next couple minutes to show you exactly how it works. We're going to do a real-time installation at my house, but first, I've got a mock-up of a window, and I want to show you how the inside works. Let's go check it out. Okay, here we are. We've got our mock-up of a window. This is a window that's uh, constructed the exact same way which you might find inside your own house. This is the bracket. The bracket is designed to rest on any inside corner in your home. Uh, right now, I'm going to install it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest it on the top of the trim. But keep in mind that this bracket can be installed anywhere on the trim that you like. It can be installed where a wall meets a wall, and it can be installed where the wall meets the ceiling. So it's pretty flexible in all the places that you can install it. Um, when it's installed into an inside corner, its biggest strength is that your house, when it was built, um, has all the internal framework and structure that it needs to hit a stud every single time when you use the piloted holes the, on the bracket to feed the screw at a 45 degree angle, you're guaranteed to hit a stud. Either the window header, the window framework, the wall studs in the corners, the wall studs in the ceiling. You're going to hit a stud every time. And this is important because this means that you no longer need to rely on plastic wall anchors, sheetrock screws, mollies, any sort of sheetrock anchor that's virtually going to come loose at some point um, if it's not installed 100%. Um, once this bracket is installed, you've got an inch of adjustability up and down to do any sort of fine tuning that you might need to do. Um, you also have an inch of adjustability in and out with another set screw that's located uh, underneath here. There's a, there, there's a common misconception that, um, that when you drive this screw at a 45 degree angle that, you're, that, that the screw is actually going into the trim and the trim is being used to hold the screw and that's not true at all. The screw actually enters at a 45 degree angle um, and just glances the trim and it glances the sheetrock and installs solidly into the window header or the window framework that's inside. So why don't we go around this window here and we can see what's actually going on inside your wall and find out why we're getting such a strong connection. Okay, here we are at the back side of the window. If you were to take off your batten board, stucco, stone, whatever it is that's on the outside of your house, this is what you'd see. When you install the McLeod 9 bracket, you're hooking up to either the window header, the window framework, or the internal framework that's found in every house that you can see right here. We're not hooking up to the trim and we're not screwing into the sheetrock. We're getting a strong connection into the stud work that's located in every house. That's guaranteed. Let's go do a real-time install in my house. Okay, here we are inside the house and we're going to do a real-time install. It's only going to take a minute or two. Um, I've got a couple things prepared. I've got the only tool I'm going to need, which is a cordless drill and the ladder. So my brackets are out and my screws are there. So I'm going to go ahead and climb up the ladder and install this first bracket. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put this bracket flush. I'm going to do a top mount and put it flush with the end of the, the window trim here. Grab my drill and drive the first screw. Now you can always tell when you're driving a screw into a stud because you feel like you get a really good bite and you can tell That's a solid connection. You can wiggle this bracket and it's in there good. Let's go to the other side. Move my ladder. Okay. Position.
Okay, that's in there solid. We're ready for our curtains. Okay, last step here. Go ahead and hang the curtains. Looks good. Last thing to do would be to go ahead and make any final adjustments to your height that you needed to with the allen key that we give you. And enjoy. Now that that job's done, I hope that you have a better understanding of how the patented McLeod 9 bracket works. When we do jobs around our house, a lot of times we have to put holes in it, and nobody wants to do that. But if we have to, always put them in a place where no one can see them. But more importantly, always make a strong connection, especially when you're hanging curtains. I'm Sebastian McLeod. Enjoy your project.